Hey, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Chase from Al Hamarano Culture Unlimited, and in today's video, we're going to find out how to spot a fake football jersey. To quote my gran after watching an episode of CSI Miami, these crooks are getting clever. And she wasn't entirely wrong. The crooks have leveled up. And if you're none the wiser, you might be fooled by a counterfeit football jersey. So before we get started with the football forensics, it's important to understand why in the first place there is a market for fake football jerseys. Why does this market exist? Look, the answer is simple. There is money to be made in the knockoff merch scene. Original football jerseys are very expensive, and locally in South Africa, you're forking out anything over a thousand rand for a new team jersey. And to be frank with you, that's quite disturbing. So instead of paying over a thousand rand for a new jersey, fans are going to the black market, where kits are significantly cheaper and a lot easier on the pocket. But here's the thing, not all knockoff kits are equal, and not all knockoff kits look like the real thing. As mentioned earlier, the prices for a new football jersey, it's a joke. But you, dear viewer, you don't want the joke to be on you when your new football jersey looks more like a wish order other than a convincing, not so authentic replica. So I've done some detective work, or should I say, the detective work done me. I kept stumbling across knockoff merch sites on social media. I'd be scrolling my Instagram stories and these authentic kits would make their way onto my timeline and onto my feed. My curiosity got the better of me. I bit the bait, I investigated, but I could quickly see these jerseys weren't as authentic as they claimed to be, so I left it. A few months later, a dear friend gifted me with a 21-22 West Ham home jersey. Now, upon receiving this gift, I could tell instantly it wasn't the original thing. Even though at this point I never had the original jersey, I could immediately tell this was a knockoff. What I'm about to share with you now, dear viewer, is 10 instances where this knockoff jersey fell embarrassingly short. Let's jump straight in. Alright, so let's start with the overall look of the fake jersey compared to the real. The original is on the left and the counterfeit is on the other left. Okay, so my first impression is the fake jersey, it's a lot more red opposed to the claret we see in the original. Also, if you look at the blue tones in the fake, the blue is a lot more darker compared to the lighter sky tone in the original on the left hand side. All right, so let's dive into the crest. Gosh, do I even need to describe this one? Look at the fake crest on the right. Were they even trying? For me, the crest was the biggest giveaway with this jersey that this jersey is fake. Yes, the jersey has a bit of a reddish color to it, but the crest, it's very unapologetically and embarrassingly poor. All right, so next up, it's the manufacturer's logo. In this case, it's Umbro. Now on the fake on the right hand side, it looks like the O is trying to pull a prison break and escape from the rest of the logo. Also, if we look at the Umbro diamond, um, it looks a bit wobbly. It gives me the impression that um, it was being stitched on a very bumpy gravelly road. There's no escaping the long arm of the sleeves. Speaking of sleeves, let's look at the sleeves. <laughs> How's that for a segue? Now, as we touched on earlier, the blue in this jersey, it's, it's a lot darker than the original. But now if we look at the Scope Markets logo on the left sleeve, um, well, the original logo as we see is black. And on the knockoff, they um, <laughs> decided to use the artistic license and went with the Claret Scope Markets logo. I mean, of all the time to pull the artistic card, pull it on the sleeve logo, the sleeve branding ad, that's a funny one. Staying on the sleeve, if you look at the stripes at the end of the sleeves, the trim at the end, the original has a thick claret white and blue hoops. Where the fake, these hoops are looking a lot skinny, a lot slighter. Now, this brings us to the inside neck size guide. As we can see um, on the left hand side, the original, the size guide, it's pretty much transparent. Where on the not so authentic on the right, they use a bold white size guide. Subtle, but important. As we learned in school when multiplying fractions, what we do on the inside, we must do on the outside. So let's have a look at the outside neck. All right, so we've got the WHUFC logo at the back. Now, other than it being too dark blue and also quite big, this is probably the most convincing effort from the fake jersey. The font is almost identical. And of, yes, this fake jersey falls short in a lot of places, but this little WHUFC, it's not perfect, it's bigger than the original, but this is almost the most identical or their best effort on the entire jersey. All right, so if these photos we've been looking at hasn't been a complete giveaway that the jersey on the right is a knockoff, then 
this one should pretty much seal the deal. As we can see on the left hand side it's got the official licensed product tag on the left hand side of the torso, lower left of the torso. Now on the fake on the right they left this official licensed product tag out. Now I don't know why they did it. I'm sure it's pretty easy. I mean they copied pretty much everything else on the jersey so I don't know why they'd leave this one out. I actually find this one quite admirable and slightly charming. It's not an official licensed product and rightfully so they left out the tag which says officially licensed product. They could have easily put it there but they chose to exclude it. So they might be crooks but they're not dishonest. And yeah we have a very handsome young man modeling both jerseys. I mean gosh just look at him. <laughs> Alright so now um, with regards to the fit and the overall feel of the jerseys, the knockoff on the right it has a looser fit where the original has a more snug feel and gives it that tailor made feeling. And lastly we've got the tag. You can see the original tag on the left hand side it used a carbon slash environmentally friendly tag with less ink used in the printing process. You can also see a West Ham crest at the bottom of the tag. Now compared to the tag on the right there's no club branding. This is more of a general tag you'd see on any item in the Umbro store. Heck, this could have even been used on a pair of Umbro branded undies. Umbries, if you will. And if you flip these tags over, you'll notice that the original on the left has a hologram effect to it, with a fake on the right, while well, it's just generic Umbro run of the mill tag. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that. Look, I understand why people are buying knockoffs. They're a lot cheaper. I mean, these original jerseys, as discussed earlier, they're just, it's a crime in itself, the price they're charging for the stuff. However, in this case, these fakes ain't fooling no one. A poor attempt at best. Have you had any experiences with a not so authentic jersey? Do let me know in the comments below. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help the channel out. And if you haven't yet, why not subscribe to Al Hamarano Culture Unlimited. My name is Chase and until next time, come on you irons. <laughs>